from one underachieving NFC team led by an all-time great quarterback to another, the Packers at 3-3 three and three and searching for an- answers. During training camp, Aaron Rodgers said the offense had a lot to learn. He was asked yesterday how far they've come since then and if they're where he expected them to be. Yeah, I mean, I love this. Uh, this is a lot of fun for me. I miss being out there at practice today because I love practicing. But, yeah, man, I, love for the, I live for this. I wake up in the morning thinking about this. I go to bed at night dreaming about what plays I can make up and piss Matt off. And, uh, <laughs> uh, no, but, uh, you know, this, is, uh, this has been my love since I was five years old and uh, still love uh, waking up every day knowing I'm coming in at 1265. I mean, similar to maybe what I expected. Um, there's been growing pains. There's been uh, uh, some some mental errors at times, which you expect with a younger group. Um, but there's been uh, you know, just too many plays where it's just one guy uh, maybe doing the doing the wrong thing or, or not executing their responsibility. So we we'll clean that up. We'll be fine. Um, there's enough leadership on the offense to get those things cleaned up, and um, I'm confident we'll uh, get some of those things fixed. The deep state is now messing with our soundboard. <laughs> Saw a little bit about Aaron Rodgers and whether he's still happy before he got around to where the offense is. And the big story of the week has been they need to simplify. And, and Matt LaFleur says, I don't know what that means. And Aaron Rodgers tried to explain it on Pat McAfee's show on Tuesday. It, it, it just all doesn't make sense. There's tension there. I think there's some regret from Aaron Rodgers. Now he's getting handsomely paid this year. He got a major contract to stick around. But I... I can't imagine Rodgers or Brady being back next year. Not based on what we've seen so far. There could be enough that happens the rest of the way yeah. to make them say one last ride. But, gentlemen, and I'm speaking to the two of you because I know you watch every day, Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. Remember how you feel now before you sign up for one more ride next year. Yeah. And if you feel now... If you remember that feeling, there's no way you're going to say, let's do it one more time. Yeah. I, well, listen, I'm at the point where Brady's definitely done. It's see you later. This will be it. I mean, that that's for sure. Rodgers, I went into the year gun. We'll get two, three more years of Roger, Rodgers. But, Mike, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of with you. And uh, I, 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 I'm with you in the fact that I'm, I don't know. It just – Back to the off season and all the things you talked about. Hey, there's young receivers and these new like we're not. You're getting fifty million dollars a year and you're not there for what nine OTA sessions? Whoa, it's nine days. Take the private plane, get there. Whoa, eleven days, whatever. It's something like that. And yeah, it even again like you talked about with Brady, the close ups on the camera and the faces and all of that. And I don't know. I think it's fair to question how invested or if he's all in right now. It doesn't look like it to me a little bit, you know. I know, listen, my dad, I talk football with him all the time. He thinks this is it for Rodgers. Not that my dad's a a know-it-all, but he's been around football for a while and been in those shoes. So when he says stuff like that, I I listen. And so I I don't think your thought's crazy there. And, And again, too, just the stuff he says after the game, simplify? What? It's the most simple, boring offense in football. It's 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 horrible. I, I don't know what he wants. It's like where that's where Matt LaFleur, I think, you know, pushed back a little bit. Simple. I don't even know what that means. What do we we motioned two times in the first three series? I mean, the offense is as dink and dunk as it gets. But it's like he wants it done his way. And that to me is where you start to go, oh, well, you know, that's where it just it doesn't work. When it starts to go, oh, I only want it my way. I want to everybody stationary so I can audible to the correct three yard pass. That's kind of what it seems like he wants. I got it. Oh, my quarterback rating completion percentage is good. I got us all this stuff. Yeah, that's great, but I don't. It's not going to win games. Not going to get them the Super Bowl like we've been saying for the last few weeks. And um, yeah, I think the spotlight's on Rodgers too now. Almost, almost to the same effect of Brady to see where he's at and how much he really wants this. Here's the caveat that I have for Rodgers. Yeah. And this may be why he keeps talking about what they need to, get, need to do to get better on offense. I think that if they show sufficient improvement, if the young receivers give him reason to believe that next year is going to be potential breakout year between Romeo Dobbs and Christian Watson, that could be enough to lure him back. But he's got to see enough the next 11 games to make him think 
there will be a step up without me being involved, of course, in the offseason program. They're going to they're gonna have to handle that part of it without me there. But, but when I show up, they're going to be ready to make that leap, and they're going to do enough between now and the end of the season to convince me that it's worth coming back, that by next year one of these two guys is going to become my Devontae Adams. Because Alan Lazard, I doubt, will be back. Sammy Watkins, Randall Cobb. Yeah, who cares? You know, OBJ still floating around out there as a possibility, but he's only going to sign a one-year deal with somebody. They could sign him in March to oh. try to bring Aaron Rodgers. And I back wouldn't go the there if I'm I, OBJ. I, I think I just think there is a fatigue organizationally, unspoken, but we've seen evidence of it, like the Matt Lafleur big smile. I don't know what that means. I think they're getting to the point where they've had enough. Yeah. If you're playing at an MVP level, we'll deal with it. Once that stops. We've had enough. I, I I don't disagree with your thought there. I don't. It's a lot. It's always something. It is. And I, I, I can understand coaches, GMs, presidents of the organization all being a little exhausted by it. You know, and then to your point, yeah. I mean, again, I don't know. Do we have available the 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 the, the throw chart from Rogers? You know, that I that I know we showed on my podcast the other day a little bit, but like, I mean, simplify, Mike. I mean, wait, wait till you see this. I mean, it's it, like first off, there's throws behind the line of scrimmage, right? I mean, it's 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 the simple as it gets. I don't I don't know what they want. You know what does he want? I don't. It's a slant route. It's a flat route. It's another flat route. It's another flat route. Everything is look at the running back out of the backfield and let me see if I could throw it two yards, or let me look at the receiver who's got a little leverage on the nickelback who's running into the flat and let me throw it to him for two yards. I'm just not going to get it done. Again, we're in the day and the in day and age here where the NFL is set up for the quarterback to take over and make explosive plays, and you get pass interference, you get rough in the passer, whatever. It's it's that way. I mean, it, 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 the, the turnover thing, in, in a lot of ways, is, to me, is a little overblown this day and age. It is. It just doesn't matter as much. Down 17 means nothing anymore in the league. You know, five interceptions week one against the Pittsburgh Steelers to Joe Burrow. Didn't matter. He made enough plays. They still should have won the game. It's it's just, it's not 1998 anymore where you have to have a quarterback rating of 105 and you got to throw it, you know, at 78% to win a football game. It's just, it's a different league now. And, and this dink and dunk fashion of football and conservative nature, it just doesn't allow them to, to win games or, or, you know, be, be explosive on that side of the ball. We need to take a break, but as you were saying that, yeah. I keep thinking of your point. We discussed this the other day. The idea that Rodgers claimed to being the GOAT yeah. driven by these eye-popping ratios of right. touchdown to interception, and and maybe he's thinking a little bit too much about preserving that. I think so. Not undermining that, because that's his only argument. Right. It's not championship-driven. Uh, it's not all-time numbers-driven. Because he sent, he spent three years on the bench. Yeah. His all time numbers aren't going to be what Tom Brady's are, but it's that ratio that he doesn't want. Quarterback to screw rating, up. touchdown to interception yeah. ratio, exactly. All, right. all that stuff that doesn't matter. Yeah, that's his strongest argument for saying I'm the best ever because I I have by far the best numbers in these two categories that really don't matter. That and he doesn't want. It matters because he doesn't want to mess up those two categories by doing the things that you're saying. Throw the ball down the field. Take chances. Who cares if you throw a 40-yard interception? It's a punt. One down early. Who cares? Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.